Well, for the first time ever, a woman finished the Barkley Marathon, a 100 mile race with only two and a half days to finish. Our Jared Austin has more from Frozen Head State Park. Thousands have come to Frozen Head State Park, but very few have conquered the miles of mountains and slippery slopes that is the Barkley Marathons. It's insane. It, it takes a different level of human. So it's very steep. Um, it, the forest floor is covered with dry leaves. Now only one woman in the world can say she did it. Jasmine Paris. So I'd like to take on kind of races where I don't really know whether I'm capable of doing it. They just kind of make, I just find it more exciting. They give me a kind of thrill. Some parts stopping most from completing it, the length and limited resources. Jasmine also says it's very easy to get lost out here, especially since they only allow you to use two things to get your location down. A map like this one and a compass. Navigation was a huge part as well, so that was something that I'd learned, um, learned, learned from the previous years. And her third time in the Barkley Marathons, finishing before her 60 hours was up, became a reality. It was kind of like a nightmare, um, super intense, because I, I knew that at, until that point, I guess I thought I was going to finish, and then suddenly I started to doubt whether I was going to make it in. With just over a minute and a half to spare, Jasmine made it to the yellow gate. And I was desperately trying to get air in. Not only accomplishing her goal, but rewriting the marathon's history. To think that, that I, in turn, have inspired other women, that, that for me is the most important thing. At Frozen Head State Park, Jared Austin, WVLT News. Well, the race is actually inspired by the escape of James Earl Ray from Brushy Mountain, the prison there in 1977. A Frozen Head State Park ranger says the total race is about 60,000 feet in elevation change. To put this into perspective, Mount Everest is about 30,000 feet high.